everybody, it's Christy back with another video. And today we are going to look at some ink. Since it's Inktober, I figured this would be a great time to look at all of the ink I have been amassing from a company called Ferris Wheel Press. This is a company that one of my friends what recommended to me. Um, if you guys don't follow Jude and her pencil, you should be following her. I'm going to link her below because she was using some of this ink and it looked magical. And then I walked into their website and they had this little carousel inkwell and well, I had to have it. So um, I figured that since it's Inktober, we would look at this and maybe I will do a future upcoming Inktober piece with it. I'm probably just going to swatch and play today. I am going to show you my Inktober so far. So before we get into these, I just want to remind everybody, I have been doing Inktober with my Derwent Inktense pan paints. We are having a ball together doing that. And ooh, there was some wet paint in there before I put this away because I was just painting a little bit ago. And my Yuli um, Mica travel palette. So these plus my Tombow Fudenosuke. I think that's how you say it. Pen and a white gel pen that's not up here. That's basically been it. That's what I've been using along with my trusty, rusty Stillman and Burn book. So let's go through Inktober first. I'm going to move these to the side. We will come back to all of the Ferris Wheel Press goodies in just a second. And let's go ahead and talk through what I've been up to for Inktober. So we've got um, basically a third done. We're on day 10. So here's day one. It was dream. I did a dream catcher and I do want to go over these because so much of what I've done is in the details of glitter. So take a look at those little feathers down there. I think they're really cool. That was a pretty dream catcher. I've just been trying to, like I said, keep it to about a half hour to 45 minutes for each piece, which has been reasonable. Okay. So here's a whole bunch. So let's start with spiders. I went online and found a little how to draw an easy Spider-Man. I have a nephew who really likes Spider-Man. So I'm thinking that I am going to, this was kind of a practice for me to make him a little piece for, for Christmas. So don't tell him, <laughs> but that's probably something I'm going to put up, make for him to put up in his room. This one is path and I did a little moonlit path. And this is one of my favorite ones with the glitter paint with the, metallic watercolor because take a look at how beautiful that looks right just like clearly the moon moonlighting is hitting some of that grass and I just think that's such a neat detail and this is very similar to the one that I did here for sketchbox but you can see this one I feel like it came together just a little bit better I really like the depth I got in the bushes with the different colored inks so that's that D4 was Dodge. If you know what a Dodgem car is, this is a bumper car basically, but uh, I just thought that the metallic would really lend itself well to how shiny bumper cars are. And then I kind of specifically made everything else really dull in the background because that's kind of how it feels when you're at the amusement park. And then number five was map. So I did a little rice map, had some fun with it. Just kind of put a little bit of terrain on there and some little treasure X's. Day six was golden and I couldn't resist the golden hour sunset. So I did that there. Day seven was drip. I think last year we had drip as well and I may have done something very similar. I may have even used the same reference photo. I just love like a patinaed old rusty piece of metal that I can draw and the drip I think looks really good this time. So I really liked how that one turned out. I thought it was really fun. Day eight was toad. I don't normally draw animals, but I took my time. This one probably took me a little bit longer than a half hour to 45 minutes because I really sketched the toad for a long time, but I think he's just fun. I love how he came out. I might go back and add some more white details, but I really just like him. And then I made the leaves glittery just because I've been trying to make a little bit of glitter every day. Yesterday, day nine, was bounce. And if you've ever had or been on one of these trampolines, you know that they're like shiny. So I made the trampoline part shiny. And then, of course, the metal 
shiny. This is a brand new trampoline because if it's been in your yard for more than one rain, there should be rust on the bottom of it for sure. And here's a sneak peek at today's. It's not quite done yet. I don't have any shiny glitter details on here yet, but this is fortune. So here's a little fortune cookie turned out super cute. And like I said, I don't have any glittery details on it just yet. I am going to write something in that little fortune, but that's where I'm at with that when I went to film this. So that's where I'm at with Inktober. So let's go ahead and open up this stuff from Ferris Wheel Press and show it off. They are having a sale right now and I'm not affiliated with them, but I'm going to link their store below because I really am thinking that it's a really good sale. You basically get a free bottle of ink if you if you make a certain amount of purchases. I'll, I'll link it all in the description, but I got this ink for free. I think I got this ink for free by buying those other two. So that's like a really good deal. So check out this little ink well, guys. It is a carousel, and I think that these are sold out, but my goodness, it's so cute. It's so cute. I couldn't resist it. I had to have it. All right, so then we have all kinds of different sized inks here. The first ones that we have are tiny, tiny little five millimeter ink vials. This is the, which set did I buy? I bought two sets. Does it say? It does not say on the outside. Oh yeah, maybe right here. Sugar Beach and Bookshop. They're tiny on the, on the barcodes here. Sugar Beach and Bookshop. So here's Sugar Beach. really trying not to drop anything. So we had this really pretty pink color here, which is labeled PSB. Uh, that's probably pink sugar beach. And then this is like a magenta purpley color. And then we have this green color, but can you guys see how it looks like a potion? Because it's got all of that. Yeah, you can see it. You've just got all that glitter in it. So I'm super excited to play with these and swatch them out because I think they're going to be glittery masterpieces. The bookshop ones, I think, were a little bit more subdued, a little bit, just because I wanted something that was not quite as crazy. So this one's kind of like a reddish orange. This one looks like it's going to be a mossy color. I do not know if that one is glittery or not. And then this one is... Um, looks like a gray color. So I got these three to have something that was a little bit more non-glittery. And then I got some bigger ones because they have some really specialty stuff that I thought would be cool. I started with this cloak and forest from the fairy tales collection. It's a green, you know me, I'm a sucker for a good green and it's a green with a silver shimmer Maybe I can get this out, stand by. There it goes. Maybe. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna have to tear this whole, okay, I got it out, I got it out. So this is a, this is a, it's supposed to be, what's it called, cloak and forest. So it looked green with a silver shimmer, but it kind of looks blue in the bottle. Maybe it was more blue. I can't remember, but I thought I picked one that was more green. Then we have Blushing Mushroom. I pulled this one out already because I wanted to look at it. This one, it's got more of like a brownish, bronzish, purplish thing happening. But just the name Blushing Mushroom, I couldn't resist it. And this again was part of the Fairy Tales line. And then I'm sure you guessed that Stroke of Midnight, also part of the fairy tales line. But this one, I'm pretty sure I got, is this the 38 mil? Yeah, this is the one I got for free because it's Inktober. So I bought these two smaller ones and I got this big guy for free. Look at that bottle. Oh, it's so pretty. And so this one's called Stroke of Midnight. It's supposed to be more of a like bluish black Payne's gray kind of deal. And you know me, I love a good Payne's gray. All right, so let's swatch these out and see what they look like, and we'll come back and talk about them in a minute.
All right, so here are the swatches and these are absolutely gorgeous. So let's take a look at first that blushing mushroom. It's like a purple gray and then it's got this beautiful bronze glitter. I pulled out my glass ink pen and I was playing a little bit over here with that, but look at these three big bottles I bought with all of the glitter in them. There's Cloak and Forest and Stroke of Midnight. They both have like a silvery shimmery glitter. Now, admittedly, um, I didn't want to pour anything out of these bottles right now just because I wasn't going to sit here and do like a major ink project. So I think if I, if I shook it up real good and then I poured some out, I would probably get a more consistent glitter effect. And actually, because I was using the same water, the storied blue and the Peter Moss from the bookshop collection do not, they are not glittery. So here's them here. I'll get close up. There is them right there in the bottom without the glitter. So you can see storied blue is just this beautiful dusty blue. And that's like the prettiest sap green. Although I really, I like it with the glitter, but there was so much glitter in Wonderland and Coral <laughs> that it got in that one. This one doesn't have too much glitter in it. It's just a little bit from the actual bottle. Now these three are all glittery but I don't know if I just didn't dive deep enough to get like the full glitter effect on the three from Sugar Beach. But I just get so nervous when I use ink in these kinds of bottles because I'm always afraid that I'm going to drop something and it's going to end up all over the place and ink is not watercolor. So watercolor, I kind of know what I'm doing. I can save my space if I spill it. Ink is a different story. So anyway, um, I looked up what the deal is for Ferris um, Wheel Press right now. And here, that's not going to look nice. This one will look better. Yeah, so if you buy any product at all, buy anything, you get a free 38 milliliters. And this is the 38 milliliter size. So I just bought these two and came away with that free, nice, beautiful stroke of midnight, which is like such a nice sketching ink. I'm really going to use it a whole bunch. I had previously purchased my little inkwell, which I didn't use yet because, again, I feel like I'm going to use it when I actually sit down to do a project. I don't like wasting supplies like this that cost a lot of money and these little ink charger sets that I wanted because I just thought they would be like nice testers for me to play with the ink. I don't actually have an ink pen. I need to get an ink pen so that I can fill a traditional ink pen with ink and sketch with it. I think that would be a really fun challenge. Uh, what do you guys think about that? You can let me know in the comments below. Also in the comments below, what would you like to see me create with these products? And should I use some of these for the end of Inktober? I had kind of already made up my mind for Inktober and then this deal came up and like I said, my friend Jude and her pencil's been playing with these inks and they just look magical. And I had to know what they were all about. I really like this company. I think these inks are super high quality. As far as ink goes, I feel like this is a pretty affordable brand of ink. They are in Toronto. So um, if you are in the US or Canada, I know they're available. I don't know how available they are over in other places. So that is something that maybe I can look into for you. But yeah, just let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. And that's going to be it for me today. I hope you are continuing to enjoy Inktober and that you get your ink on today. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.